Perenef, Perenef. Uh, he went out. What is the direction of uh, reading here? For sure, it's in columns here. As you see, it's in columns. So it should be from up to down, from up to down. Never from down to up. The three directions of reading are from uh, right to left, uh, like the Semitic languages, Arabic, Hebrew, uh, etc. Uh, from left to right, like the European languages, English, French, German, Italian, whatever, uh, even Latin, and okay. So, uh, and the third direction is from up to down here, as you see here, and also in the um, Eastern, uh, for instance, the languages of East Asia, Asia like Korean, uh, Japanese, uh, uh, Chinese, it was previously from up to down, but now the young people are reading from and writing from left to right, they are imitating the West. Anyway, it was uh, until now it can be read for sure uh, from up to down in Chinese and in Japanese. Anyway, uh, here the three directions that are existing in the ancient Egyptian language are the three directions existing everywhere in the world. Never ever in ancient Egyptian, never ever in the world from down to up. The three directions, Egypt has learned the, the, the world how to write. This means all directions of reading and writing in the world are. Uh, taken also from the ancient Egyptian language. Here in columns, from up to down, per, the sign is per, per means to go out, here, r is the phonetic complement, here to go out, but n means it's past, so went out, and f he, per, n, f, per, go out, n, past, f, he, he went out, per, n, f, per, n, f, he went out.